Matt G, the Ghost Lady, and Len Moleko. The worst time of my life turned out to be the best time of my yeah, life. Yeah, isn't it weird? Yeah. In hindsight, it, right? Because <clears throat> that's when I was at my lowest, and that's when I met my beautiful wife. Wow. An angel who was going to take me the way I was. She met you when you had no job. Yeah, We're no job. We're going to keep, keep. In fact, nah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, she threw it. It's okay. <laughs> she made me. It was rough. Yeah. And That's a keeper, though. Yeah. And. At <clears> the <throat> time, I can't speak. I don't know if she's colored or not. I'm going to say, 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 you know, I didn't know that. But Ooh. anyway, so I asked for her number. She says, no, she'll call me. I'm like, ah, that's. Oh, but first, I had to lie. Because I was with my sister, and my sister. Capsule, never, she she said I mustn't talk to girls because that's weird. Everyone, the guys was like, nah, you weird. I was about to ask, where yeah. did you get the courage? Uh, uh, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, my, my sister's like, you don't talk to girls because mm. my, my clerk about to weird. What are you doing? I had to lie and say, no, I know this one from school. <laughs> <laughs> Some weird reason, man. I felt like I had to talk to her. Yeah, yeah. push it through the sister. I'm gonna need one rand. Like if she said, I'm saying it can't be. I would have been like, wait here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's how rough it was. And she, I went, she says I was touching. I don't remember, but I don't know that. Did she and recognize you? That's the thing. I, I went straight up to her and I said, um, I like you, I'm spying. I don't know why all of a sudden, I'm like, I'm spying. You know, <laughs> <laughs> this is the first thing you said. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> 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 so that don't look, don't see me like this. <laughs> <laughs> Disclaimer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm in Spain, I live at home. <laughs> That's the truth. Yeah. I live at home, but yo, Joe, man, kind of my Wow. Did she recognize you? No, I'm, I'm going there. Yeah. She's like, okay. And people come. While Musa Shang could start asking for a photo, I'm like, okay, I'm going to go. She's like, I'm going to go play. I'm going to go play. She said this to me straight up. She's like, I'm going to go play. I'm going to go play. I'm like, no. I, I, she didn't watch Generations. If she did, I don't think she cared about me because yeah. you could see you could and she was wearing high heels. She was towering over me, bro. And she opens that phone. I am like, yo, phone. I'm like, 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 I'm Nothing. Vang and carry sister la. Guess what? Mang fi yawo. Shucks. This chick drive yo. Oh my god. And, and there's no Uber there. <laughs> no dog. It's like. And I keep on finding lang such a thing. Anyway, I'm here now. I talk to him. After I talk to him, I mean, pretty carry sister. So as I drive down, I start to get just like. <laughs> Two houses from my house. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> and like, yo, I, it's like in jail, but I, hang on, it's like, like, no, you won't believe this. I'm stuck just outside your house. <laughs> True story. Oh, story. man. And, and from there, so the rest is history. Wow, oh, I can imagine, yeah, dude. She, she, she eventually. Like, okay, so go one time, I was born, I was born, I was born, I was born. And she's like, <coughs> sorry. And she understood, okay, I'm on TV. She's like, hey, but I, I think we, we'd understood each other, we'd spoken for a while, because she was like, I don't date. I don't pass the TV. I'm afraid. Now I realize she's got so many, I, I had a chance to meet this woman a long time ago, but it was just wasn't the time. Yeah. My high school is like four, how many houses? Nine, about eight, nine houses away from, from her house. Like a in la gubo, gubo gulen zans. But again, when I get to be in Salagan, I had to be proof. Mm. But my dad, I'm so expensive. So 
So there's no way I could meet her even after school, you know. Mm. The school is there, but she's never there. I was a, I'm saying something. I'm saying Panapas. I'm saying I'm saying that one. Yeah. Yeah. So at least from there, like, you know, I met this woman. She was an angel. Like, she still is. We've been married for 11. We've just gone to the 12th year now. Wow. Nice, kids by her. Man, She's man. my wife. Oh. In three months, I'm shy, bro. Oh. Yeah. In three months? In a low ball, yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah. That's when you know, bro. That's when you know. But where did you get the money? Good question. <laughs> Good question. So, when I met her, um, like I said, but car, I mean, I'm in car. She so she she would let me drop off, and then I'm going to make my own or whatever. Eventually, her and my mom decide, but we are apologize, we and see which is a team. Because like you say, like when I tell her the story, I really fucked up at work, you know. Okay. Oh, like, fundi 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 fundi, yeah. Okay. So this comes with her. Okay. Like, she suggested. Uh, yeah. It's crazy. I'm like, fuck it. What do I have to lose? Mm. Guess what? Yeah, that's why I'm begging you. Lenga, lenga, gula, lenga, cause in two hours you're making mistakes. Um, next week, mutala papa lenga we. I'll come back. Wow! Back at work through this amazing angel. That's amazing. Bro. So the the next step to do was what? <laughs> come on. We had to marry her. Mangai fag, basok tate. She's real. She's beautiful. She's beautiful inside and outside. She's an author. She's my best friend. Depending on the day. So I'm serious. So basically, after that, we've been... So now I mean, you go back. So when down. you went back to Generations, you were doing things proper now. Proper. Yeah. Uh, and when I left, it was because now I wanted to leave. Because it was, it was a good cut. Uh, so good, now I must move on to something else. Yeah. But yeah. I, feel, I, I thank God uh, through, through a lot of things that I've been through. That I was able to get back. That's what I'm saying. People must respect their craft because not everyone is lucky enough to have a chance to go back and fix things. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Second chance. A second chance, I see totally. And yeah, I know. It's uh, tough. It's, it's tough. And I'm really glad. And that's why I love my wife to bits. Uh, would you trade your wife for the black book, uh, Jamel? Which one would you choose? One must yeah. die. No, the black book is dead. <laughs> I can't. I can't afford that. <laughs> No, the black book is in the thing I saw the thing ice cream and No, 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 no. Yeah. People don't understand. The black book, eh, it's not just the fame. You gotta have some cash. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I get to famous. Man, you was pussy the hands. Yeah, 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 <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. No, the black book, I, nah, I'm good. So, do you ever see like someone in the industry right now and they remind you of yourself and you can see them making the same mistakes? It's Brian, but I'm sure you see them too, man. <laughs> There's a lot of that. No, I'm busy making the mistakes uh. with them. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm married. <laughs> it's not easy, but I'm so glad I'm married. No, no, thank you. Yeah. Because I, I understand exactly what you're saying. Because, you know, when there's that time, it's easy to... There are some mistakes that are not mistakes. Because at the time, you're like, this is the life. Mm. Like me, I'll tell you. When I was living my life on Jamel, that was the life I knew as a celebrity. Mm. Like, they don't teach you these things. Guys, you are with men among you, and you tell them that I went out to movie like who never blow me up. You know what I mean? Because mm. you they give you that certain status, but now people know mm. and they still make those. So that's why. I and can. the thing is, you don't want to be uh, how old are you now? I'm 38. You don't want to be 38 and doing what you're doing at Gem Early because now you got kids. Yo, and they will start doing what I, what I was doing. Then what? You yeah, know? Yeah. And I got boys even. That's even worse. Yeah. I mean, I can't talk to you when I what the vibe am I like? I'm chilling on the bar. Yo, <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. That's important yeah. for me. So. And then, like, geez, what has what have you done? You've done TV, you've done acting, you've done radio, yeah. music. I've done music. Uh, I've done TV, radio, acting. Yeah, TV, radio, music. Um, what haven't I done? And when we where we at A now? Chinese woman. <laughs> <laughs> And then, no. and then, uh, um, now what are you busy with? Now, now? we're busy with uh, Easy Media and Entertainment, yeah. Um, which is uh, Charmaine, um, Jali and Spiam Jali's baby. Uh, which I'm, I'm gonna give you the clip, yeah, through your play. Like I've explained to you what the show's about. There's a couple of shows that we're also busy with. I don't nice. know how many I can dive out, yeah. The manager's giving me that look that, uh, yeah, contracts yeah. and stuff. 
But I remember you were working on some reality shows, ne? Yeah, but this is the first one that we're pushing. Nice. This one is a reality stroke documentary because it's it's about them. Child is grooming the boys, but it's not just about us. We go out there to help the people. Yeah. That's why that that's the niche of this thing. Yeah, well, and I think that's why it's so. And also, we're busy doing anti-bullying, anti-bullying. Oh, okay, cool. That's when we go to we go to the schools because it's Yeah, it's getting very serious. It's getting yeah. to a point where by by and it's it's serious. And I think um, with the time that I, I have at the moment, the best to do is to give it to them. Cool. Oh, okay, cool. So, 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 um, you're an OG, bro. Like you're a legend. You've been in the game for about twenty years plus. Uh, Twenty-five. To Twenty-five, just yeah. to be precise. Yeah. No? How hard do you find it now to get a gig with the social media <laughs> times? <laughs> How tough is it, bro? I'm mm. no Mac. I'm telling you, like I said, back in the day, we used to use talent. It, all you needed was just be talented. You get an audition, this part is yours. You do a demo for radio, it's yours. Now, I got to do my own marketing. Now, I got to have numbers, mm. you know, so... Are you even active on social media? I didn't see you on Twitter. No, no. Uh, I'm gonna be now because we're trying to push the show. I've always, I've, I've always, and I've got no, no, no qualms with people that are on social media. I just don't believe why I must tell you that I'm at Balita right now, so you can <laughs> come to my house and break in and take my shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just, I don't know. Maybe I, I need to like, like my wife is on this managing most of the stuff. We're trying to find someone who's good to handle our, our, our page. Yeah. Yeah, and if you're out there listening, yo, there's a job for you, honestly, because I don't think I can. Um, I don't want to. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So, okay, you're saying it's a, it's a bit harder, no? Yeah, it's a bit harder now. But it's also because I want to go back to presenting more than anything. Also, I want to do corporate gigs, corporate MC, mm. you know. Um, I mean, I've been acting for quite a while. I, I'd like to carry on with that. But as much as I want to keep producing my own stuff, I would, I'd also be nice to be doing... Some co- I, I love I love this presenting man. I started with it. Who are you fucking with now in terms of presenting? Like who do you look at in like whoa that's dope. Mm. It was Vuyo and he passed on. Mm. Vuyo Mbuli was killing it for me because mm. uh, as just a presenter and as an, an, an MC for these corporate gigs was killing it right now. Ah, I'll give it to Longster because we're boys. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's good. I mean, he's always been. Yeah, yeah. he's always been, been dope. Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah. Like they're not. I, I, I don't have any qualms. I just think I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't drop everything I'm doing to go watch their shows. Well, what do you think about Bonan? Because I think she's the greatest presenter to yeah, come out of this actually, country. Actually, actually, now that you say it, yeah. Yeah, she's fun. flawless. She's dude. flawless, but you can't uh, expect me to remember all these people like Vibeta. Mm. Like I'm just saying, mm. and there's a lot of great presenters. Mm. Uh, things evolve. Mm. Thanks all. Um, a lot of the way we used to do stuff, you got to catch up, otherwise you're going to be on the wrong side of yeah. history. That's just Adapt or die. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. I'm just saying, I'm not going to get that much because it's time, you know? Mm. Like now, I'm not going to get that much because it's time. You understand? It's not like I've got the time to listen and see as many shows as I'd like to. You know? yeah. Yeah. All right, we're going to play a game called Fact or Fiction because um, you used to be in the papers a lot, man. Sunday well, daily sun. And, and like they should pay me. <laughs> I, I sold their papers. <laughs> so I'm going to read a headline and I want you to tell me if it's true or not. Fact right. or fiction. Uh, Rhythm City actor Spiwem Charlie has found himself in the hot seat after the woman who drops off his kids at school revealed that the actor <laughs> owed her close to 6000 in unpaid fees. <laughs> Fact or fiction? <laughs> Fiction and fact. <laughs> <laughs> what happened with that? No, man. Hey, little mama. Hey, I remember the story. No, little mama, little mama they agreed with my wife. My wife handles the the, pay, the, the, fi- the finances of the house. Mm. Uh, they, they were up at the land, they were up at the land, and they had spoken about what was the children in Malia KN. And it wasn't just um, it wasn't just on the date. So she, I think she paid her the next day, but already she had taken it to the papers. Oh, yeah. But yeah, no, it was just good. Mm. And I, th- I don't know whether people uh, get paid for these stories or whatever. But yeah, yeah, no, the people do get paid. Yeah, so because immediately that day, and she did say because I remember I was I was on my way to a shoot. She's like, no, 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 I'm not gonna be able to 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 go put it in today. 
because uh, when we're using one car, it's like Spirit's going to shoot. So mm. I, by the time he gets back, I'm not going to be able to go with my flag and machine. Or I'll do it for you to that tomorrow when you come fetch the kids. Mm. It's done. How? Bass is full of guy. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Very shocking. You haven't called her since, ne? No. She fired. <laughs> 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 okay, cool. Sunday World 2004. Uh, according to a Mail and Guardian article published in 2004, sorry. Uh, Sapiwe and his legal team were rumored to have demanded 175000 from the newspaper for defamation of character regarding your alleged sex tape. <laughs> sex tape? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. We sued them because it wasn't true. Um, I mean, there was, were people having fun in the car. Mm. <laughs> it wasn't me. Yeah. But in this country, we actually started suing for for a couple of millions, and then the judge told us that in this country, you can't sue for millions unless you can prove that you've lost millions. Oh, now, okay. If it was now, mm. and I had a million followers, mm. and then my account suddenly dropped, mm. I would have gotten a couple of millions. But mm. back then, there was no way of proving that you did lose millions. But I know I kept them. I lost them. Mm. And, so on. and you can't prove that, of course. Mm. Mm. So, yeah. I this, remember that story was yeah, that big. That story was big. That story. We were, we were burying uh, this guy from, what was it? A group, Mafigizo, on that mm. Sunday. I was like, hey, shy and girls, a boy. I'm like, what? And you're trying to hide. Hey, shy. Like, like. <laughs> No, you can't keep stopping to everyone saying it wasn't me. Yeah. Like, oh, fuck, yeah, okay. yeah. I'll yeah. take it. Yeah, yeah. Even my uncle calls me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm shy and I'm like, yeah, man. I'm going to find this guy. This guy. Because I remember, man, I was at school. <laughs> I think it was a Monday I was at school and uh, all of my friends came up to me. They're like, yo, did you see the papers? <laughs> Speech front page. He was caught having sex. With this girl in the car, and they took a picture of him. <laughs> I'm like, no way, this is for Kim Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> this is for Kim Kardashian and her sex tape. Yeah. You know, like, sex tape was non existent. No. For, from a celebrity. Shit, so, damn. Yeah. I should own it. Yeah. <laughs> and then everybody at school was talking about it. I was like, no way, that's insane. No. And then from then on, we were like, I now want to be like Speech or whatever. <laughs> ah, come on. <laughs> no, you don't want to be like that. Be the. <laughs> <laughs> I went home. Do, do people just, still remind you of that story yeah, to this day? Well, some people say, yeah, some people do. I went home that Sunday because I, I, I couldn't be alone in the suburb, so I went home just what, before. What happened there? Were you smashing in the car, then? No. You were just kissing? <laughs> no, it wasn't me. Was it you? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me, dog. <laughs> Shaggy, it wasn't <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I went home to, to try and see if I'm going to get family support. Mm. And my dad says, and he's getting ready for church. Ah, but speech, that was you. Come on now. He's like, <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> Mom, dad. <laughs> no. So that guy had the same dress. But that guy was bigger than me, man. Nah, the girl said on YFM back, I mean, uh, Oskido interviewed her. Yeah, yeah. And she was like, yes, it was me in the car. But I've never met Spiro in my life. You kidding? I'm telling you, man. That's why we could sue. We wouldn't sue if it was me. Did you get the money? No. They dragged it out for like three years. And the uh, channel and uh, the, the red paper then. Who were the red paper pictures, yeah. yeah. They were like, look, we know it wasn't you. Mm. And uh, let's just let it go. People know. I mean, they spoke about it on why They spoke about it, I think, on 702 back mm. then. And these pe- I had one lawyer. These people would come with seven lawyers. so they mm. would, And they could drag the case for mm. them. And I was like, so they're like, we're not losing your job. We believe you. It's mm. over. Let it go. So I dropped it. And the fact that it went down to a hundred and something thousand, and the lawyer that I had, every time he made a statement, he wanted five thousand. <laughs> 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 yeah, you could, I couldn't win either way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Here's the last uh, headline. As Pim Chala allegedly owes garage petrol money. Jeez. <laughs> People think I'm the real bash. <laughs> <laughs> they just make stories. Up. No, that's that, that's that's definitely a lie. Yeah. Uh, that that was paid in an hour because uh, you know when you go to the garage, a garage you can't tell it's on Motorfontaine Road, mm. and then he cut la me scratch, which uh, on the strip. So I had to go inside to inside the bank, sort that out, and came back and paid him. Oh, is it? Uh, so why so would they write that? Because it makes they had pictures of me. Uh, 
inside the inside in and out the the garage. the garage, and they changed the story to say it happened at three a.m. <laughs> but I was with my kids, who, who and my wife, and they say oh they say I was with an unidentified yes, woman. Yes, yes, yes. Imagine yes. if my wife was in there. Yeah. So yeah. That's uh, insane, those. man. Man, I get to that. <laughs> Legendary level like, like that you are at now. I'm sure they've been written, they've, you. They've had a lot of stuff written about. No, 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 no. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> nah, nigga, I was not on generation, <laughs> nigga. I was not on Jam <laughs> Ali, nigga. No, it's when you get to a point in your life where people just wanna. That's when they target and bow out. Yeah, I mean, I mean, when you are hot, then I, I guess you are the one who's gonna sell the papers. Yeah. So whatever they can get their hands on, they will. But do you know if this was America, so I'd be rich. Mm. with these stories because they can't prove most of them and the worst thing is how do you write about someone and say we couldn't reach him by the time we went to print it's the birth of uh, fake news yeah mm. that's actually the way it started you're right because I mean you can't at one point they put bricks on the on, on front page saying it was down and out they had his clothes there and cooking Wagubo. next thing they said at the end they couldn't reach him for comment but it's on the front page of a big I can't say their name because now they come for me. Or a big magazine, like a magazine that mm. is mm. You know? mm. Mm. So somehow social media maybe is helping because some stories, even though they're fake, you can tell they're fake. Some are true. Yeah. But this thing about kitchen is for bullshit. It's not on. No, but you got to jump on social media now, man. Because, you know, if you had social media now, whatever they write, you can you just... You got the dopest show on social media, so I'm going to jump on it. <laughs> ah, that, that, that's one of the reasons. Now I got a reason to jump on. <laughs> you know? Because yeah. the thing is, with social media, you cut out the middle, man. Yeah. You know? It's just you and your consumer. So whoever watches you on Bash and loves your shit, they can now follow you and watch you do whatever it is that you want to do. Funny enough for you to say that people were saying you're able to strike up because why are you killing Bash? <laughs> and I'm like, wow, the social media thing is serious. Yeah, yeah. And I saw it for my little brother. I I just, I think I'm, I want to be on social media when I've got something to say. Mm. And I want to say it. You know what mm. I mean? I don't want to end up sending you stuff like, here I am, I'm shooting. <laughs> Okay, here I am. I'm with Megji. You are recording. <laughs> okay, and like I don't, like sometimes I think people should have, I don't know, something better to do with their lives than just watch your life. But it's been my life. Mm. I, I live it. They watch it. It's the entertainment. Man, we you've had such an amazing uh, career. We haven't even scratched the surface in terms of the stories that you got. You know, uh, but hopefully we'll do that. Maybe you'll do a movie for us <laughs> or something. Because <laughs> I'll be late. You say you the return. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be dope. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That would be dope. I really enjoyed, and you really enjoyed this. Yeah. This is, this is awesome, man. Thanks, man. If I was listening, if there's something missing, ask Mac G. <laughs> yeah. Yo. No, but what I got from this interview is that you really, really love your wife, man. Yeah, oh, yeah. And your family, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think if you had a choice, you wouldn't want to be in the industry per se. I, 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 would, I would want to still do what I love, but without... The industry politics mm. and I, I would really I, I i love what i'm doing so aren't you thinking of hitting up mfundi <laughs> for what <laughs> sing <laughs> <win>. <laughs> 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 what am i gonna be i'm cool i'm good yeah. mfundi's good i'm good we're good yeah yeah, yeah no I, there's a lot of things that i want to i want to produce now mm. um more like i say i love my acting i love presenting but there's just some things that we as black people need to own mm. and that's why there's something that uh, we're supposed to get commissioned over and we're fighting over that with my wife because we wanted uh, to license it mm. it's fine to be commissioned for certain things but there's got to be a couple of things like big up to the fergusons right mm. licensing mm. you know mm. we need to we need to start creating employment than seeking employment. Hey! You know bars, what I mean? Yeah. Bars, you know? But we honestly need to, because right now, we're sitting on our, even standing on top of gold, but we're busy begging on the streets. Doesn't mm. make sense. You know, so I'm saying, as much as I love working with other people, because I didn't call it working for other people. Mm. I love working with them, but I need to, we need to, as a family unit, to... And, and, and as a family of, 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 of people who believe in, in this black consciousness, mm. we need to start owning shit. Mm. Let's, I say, let's create, but let's, let's create, let's create, and we can do it. Mm. And uh, music wise, any track with you, Mnakesh, coming out soon? 
Oh, actually, there's a chat uh, I got with my wife called oh. Tulunga Kulumi. Oh, nice. Uh, actually, she wrote the track. Uh, it's about people, how they always talk shit about you, make you so, so, so. Mm. And uh, just see, <laughs> she, she's just like, go just do a track to shut him up. Mm. She's actually going to send it to you. You can play it on the podcast. Nice. Is it a quieto? Um, <clears throat> you tell me. It's something like, uh, <laughs> you niggas, the sun is the same. I mean, I'm king of the game. Mm. It's about the you in shame. Hey. She will shine the shame. Hey. Ah, tula, tula, tula. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. My son is coming out with a track. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go on the night. He's got some crazy track yeah, yeah. about girls that are dating older guys. And mm. Matthew seven. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, it's that family. It's the type of family. Yeah, and yeah. how's uh, having the kids grounded you? Because, I mean, I got one kid and already it's a lot. Imagine five, bro. I got five. All I say is, stop, no, don't. <laughs> hey, it's just, it's the language. Yeah, but you love it. You can't picture I, doing anything else. No, I love it. I yeah. love it. Uh, like I said, right now, I must get the Like, mm. they're asking me now, because I can't do anything. You know, you promise. Yeah. Uh, that has grounded me a lot. Mm. And I think... I think that I don't see my life without what I have now. Yeah. And I don't want to see it mm. without what I have. Now. You know, there's something someone told me which is crazy. They were like, um, as men, we take women for granted because God channels all your gifts yeah. through a woman. Wow. So if you find the right woman, then the gifts materialize. That's so true. Because when I look at... I look, I'm not, I, this is... I'm, and I'm not going to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, the time is not there, Lani. No, Pumes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's feeling that now, we're dead. There were no kids coming. Mm. And then now there's kids. Yeah. And blessings. I mean, like you said, when, when, when you met her, oh. she told you, hit up Mfundi Vundla. Yeah. And that was your blessing. But it wouldn't have come not th- if you had been out of the, any other girl, wouldn't yeah. have. But you see, also another thing that people need to understand is that when it comes to that, serious relationships or marriages, they need, a lot, they need work. Yeah. Like yeah. You with, your, with your talent, uh, for you to maintain, you need to work on it. It's not, it's, and it's not a one size fits all. Yeah. Your uncle can't say, No. Mm. I mean, you got five beautiful kids. That's a blessing, dog. It's a blessing. It really is. Yeah. A loud blessing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I, I love them. Appreciate Thank you so, you much. so much, man. Yeah. You know, um, I always say this, man, just to close it up. That, yeah. um, I've gone through a lot. I'm sure a lot of people out there have gone through a lot. Success does not lie in never falling, hmm. but rising each time you fall. Hmm. That's what success is to me. Yeah. So that's it. For me, speech or leader, Mama Rangos Nati, Mueno, Njabulo, Kanya, Ogutle, Indotaga, Fazo Mutle, Shamin, Jani, Yantanda Nanka. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you so much, Mekji. Thank you, man. You got to teach me. I want to have another kid, man. But I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's not ending up like me. I got to think, who am I talking to again? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ogut Nati, where now? What's that? <laughs> Speech, I love you long time, man. All the best so for the future, the best, man. man for Thank you for us. inviting me to a lovely home, man. Thank you for coming. Yeah. It's been great. And that's your blessing right there. Yeah. Thank you, Shamima. Blessings. Blessings. Mutuva, thank you, guys. Thank you so much. God bless everyone. Thank you so much. Boom. Podcast Boom. and chill. We are here. Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Lynn Moleko.